Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Paul Boutros, Head of Watches for the Americas for Philips. I hope you and your loved ones are staying healthy and well during these challenging times. Thank you very much for joining us for this virtual discussion of Time Counts, our collaborative initiative with the OneDrop and the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation. These two foundations, along with this initiative, are dedicated to providing access to safe water, sanitation and hygiene, and environmental preservation for the world's most vulnerable communities. Time Counts follows our first collaboration with OneDrop, the Art for OneDrop charity auction held in September 2018, where we auctioned over 50 pieces of contemporary art donated by leading artists, generating nearly $9 million. We're honored once again to be collaborating together. Now with the additional participation of the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation, Time Counts will be part of our Racing Pulse flagship New York auction taking place on December 12th. This special dedicated section titled Time Counts will feature 12 lots, including 11 watches and one superb experience donated by celebrated personalities, including OneDrop's founder, Guy La Liberté, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco, U2's Bono, former Formula One racing champions Sir Jackie Stewart and David Coulthard, and Kevin Mr. Wonderful O'Leary. In support of their mission, Philips will donate 100% of its buyer's premium to benefit these foundations. Time Counts is led by four exquisite Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Grand Complication watches. And I'm delighted now to introduce the person who generously donated them and the leader of the brand which created them. The founder of OneDrop, Cirque du Soleil and Loon Rouge, Mr. Guy La Liberté and Mr. Francois Bonamies, CEO of Audemars Piguet. Warm welcome, gentlemen. Hi. Hi, good afternoon. Thanks so much for being part of this virtual panel with me. So let's start the conversation. Uh, if you could share with me, how did you both meet? So we met a long, long time in, in uh, New York City. Uh, at that time, uh, I knew that Guy was, and I had a passion for extremely high-end watches. And I had never got the chance to meet him. I'd seen many of his shows, obviously in Vegas, in many other places. And I always had a passion for Cirque du Soleil and the unbelievable story behind. So in my mind, it was an occasion to meet the founder, to finally get the guy behind the whole thing and eventually talk about watches. That's the first time we met. It was, I guess, I would say 2003 or four. We started to uh, talk about watches and, and, and Guy pushed us a little bit, say, but I really want something special, something that you're gonna make for me. And that's how we started to create the watches that we will be auctioned off in the coming days, okay, which are the four grand complications because we started with one. Okay, we started with one. We said, I want one. And then the second one, and the third, and the fourth. So was there any other collaborations between OneDrop and Audemars Piguet um, working together that you might want to describe for us? Well, Francois over the year became a friend and also a great supporter uh, of uh, the OneDrop initiative. Uh, there was a couple of like collaborations being done, but I think this this time is probably the the biggest one uh, that has been put in place. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, the four con grand complications that are uh, being put on sale is have history uh, for the reason that Francois had said. I have to mention one thing. I was asking for a fifth one back then in platinum, and uh, Francois told me we cannot do a watch like that in platinum. So. Basically, I end up having the four, and 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 today's uh, reality of the world, uh, based on the impact of the COVID, has been very, very uh, um, provoking. Basically, a lot of, of problem around the world. You know, now major country of the world are focusing on their own problem, meaning that the international aid is is reduced toward uh, uh, third world country or country needs in terms of water. So. Why all this at this moment is because I believe that more than ever, uh, the world has to get them come together and not forget that there's people in need around the world. While we're dealing still with our uh, own problem, but I think it's very, very clear for me that 
we should not uh, miss the opportunity of also, and the responsibility of helping a uh, third world country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Guy and, and Francois. For Philips, we're absolutely delighted, of course, to support this noble cause. Um, Francois, would you like to uh, share what makes you passionate about OneDrop's mission and uh, how did you get involved um, in this particular Time Counts uh, initiative? I remember, this is what I'm going to remember, and Guy, if I say something wrong, you have to correct me, but this is what I remember completely. You went to space at some point. And if yes. I'm correct, you started your foundation right when you came back, correct? No, actually, no, actually it's the contrary. We started a foundation in 2007, uh -huh. and I went in space in 2009, and actually we used the space travel to try to promote and create an event which was called, uh, that, that was basically coordinate uh, the lecture of a, a, a poem in 14 city in the, in the, the world and artists were performing. And at that time, I communicated with you and said, uh, uh, and, and we knew each other, and uh, I was asking uh, your support in terms of, uh, of, of this thing. So we started the, the foundation in 2007, and the space travel was 2009. Because I do remember the launch, with the launch of the book, okay, which was incredible, where it was, for me, it became such an evidence that we would have to support in any way, shape, or form. And it was the beginning yeah. at that time. And the launch of the book, which was done by Asulin, correct? Correct. 2000, yeah. uh, 2010, 2010. Yeah. And this is when we started to try to see what we could do with the foundation. Then we participate in events in Los Angeles. This I remember as well, because there was a piece of the show, which was, to me today, the best I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen maybe 20 or 50 of your shows uh, in, in, my, in, my, in my life, because I've seen, uh, oh, maybe already just that one 15 times. So, <laughs> but, but this is where we started to say, yes, we need to support in any way, shape or form. So we started small, we have to say, and then slowly but surely we, we came much more on board. But, but, but to, to tell the true story is, is I can't, before I went to space, I contact uh, Audemars Piguet, at that moment, you were not CEO. You were still in the, in the New York office, I think. And I said, I'm doing this program for one drop in space. Uh, would you provide me a, a watch or whatever? And, and actually, the, the, the relationship at that moment was not about one drop. It was more about customer, me and me collecting uh, watch and buying Audemars Piguet. So what I decided, I said, I'll prove that and I'm in good faith. I'll bring Audemars Piguet in space and I'll make it float. And I have it here, so this is the first and only Audemars Piguet who went in, <laughs> in space. Remember a story that you shared with me, because through your training, and when you were supposed to go to space, you had a weight issue with what you could bring with you. And the watch correct, correct. was potentially a headache, because it was adding oh. some weight. No, really, even though it's, it's light. Oh. Actually, actually, I was telling you, I, I'm, I'm allowed to only five kilo, but each kilo costs about a uh, million dollars to bring out there, so something like that. So I said, if you were paying for a, a, a kilo, I could bring more watch, and you said no. <laughs> but, 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 but let me... end... <laughs> Go ahead. No, no. So, but I said so. The watch he wears is the only Audemars Piguet that ever, ever went to space. Correct. And when it came back, that, it was not working perfectly, perfectly, but we managed to bring it back to, to, to perfect life. Correct. That's true. We have to, we have to make it repair. I don't know the space things that create an impact on the, on the uh, uh, function of it. And then it went on a world tour to be presented as the first watch in space, uh, the first Audemars Piguet in space. But this one is not for sale. And I still have the picture of you and the two guys you were with, with you wearing the watch in the Cosmonaut uh, outfit. So that is an extraordinary watch on your wrist. It was worn to the International Space Station, uh, the only Audemars Piguet ever in outer space. Fantastic. You've given for uh, the Time Counts initiative for incredible other Royal Oak Grand Complication watches. Francois, you would like to share 
the importance of the grand complication model for Audemars Piguet and how these are at the absolute top of Swiss watchmaking? Uh, so first of all, the grand complication have been made by Audemars Piguet almost, almost since day one, because in the history of the brand, every single year we were making first a pocket watch as a grand complication, and we are going on and on and on, and we were still making pocket watches grand complication two years ago. Okay, so grand complication have always been a part of the history of Audemars Piguet. They were the very first watches made because Guy wanted this mechanism in a Rylock. And when Guy mentioned that he wanted a fifth one, which was a platinum, we said, but it doesn't work because we cannot make the platinum waterproof because of the lever of the mini tripeter. Because the grand complication has got a chronograph with a split second, has got a perpetual calendar, and a mini tripeter. And in platinum, we couldn't figure out how to make the watch waterproof. So he didn't get his fifth one. Now we could. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, I just, I, I, I just want to add, this was, uh, you know, full, full watch that has been there. And uh, actually, they were at the top of my collection. And like I said, uh, I, I want to make a gesture, a strong gesture toward a one drop. And, uh, and, and, and the watch industry is to say, listen, uh, again, it's all about uh, taking every action possible to raise money for the benefit of what we did with Philips and the support of Philips uh, two years ago, the art uh, 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 auction. Now we're doing the, 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 the watch auction. And I want to take this time to, to thank Philips also who's been uh, with us uh, uh, since the first moment we addressed them, the uh, intention of doing or the, the, the dream of doing an art auction. And now we're doing the watch one. So uh, for me to get involved in that, giving watch is about, it's not about doing things for myself. It's about, okay, sharing a treasure that I create over my year. And that to assemble those four watch together was, uh, I think this is the unique aspect of, 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 of those watch. The four together are unique in themselves. And this is why I, I did collect those four watch together. And uh, they recently were um, serviced at Audemars Piguet in Le Brassou. And maybe tell us about the special custom box for each watch, Francois, if you could. So when we spoke about, when we spoke about it the first time to, to get the watches to be auctioned off, we said, okay, listen, so we should make a crazy box. And I went to Guy and said, Guy, you are the creative mind here. What could we do? that we symbolize who you are, what you stand for, as a box to put all the watches together. And Guy has always been some, someone very discreet in that sense and say, let's not make something too fancy. It has to be, and respect the colors of the foundation. So the box is, and has the colors of the One Drop Foundation. And at the same time, we made a mistake because at the beginning we say, we gotta put the four watches in the same box. And then we started thinking, but wait, 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 wait. If we cannot find someone to buy the four watches at once, how are we going to do that? So we have to make babies of the big box, which are four smaller boxes for each watch to be sold separately. Each watch comes with not only the special box, but the original box is a wooden piano shaped box that amplifies the sound of the minute repeater plus the original uh, guarantee and all paperwork. They're complete packages, uh, perfect for collectors. We're thrilled to offer them. And um, we're uh, especially appreciative of Audemars Piguet's support in making sure that they were delivered on time and were serviced beautifully. So thank you all uh, for that. Uh, finally, uh, a question for you, Guy. Uh, can you please tell us uh, about uh, OneDrop and what, what it means to you? Why is it a meaningful foundation for people to, to support? And how can you encourage people to bid? Well, uh, you know, OneDrop was founded in 2007. Uh, and it's kind of uh, an interesting journey for me because OneDrop was we create to celebrate the 25th an action to celebrate the 25 years of Cirque du Soleil, 25th anniversary. So at that time, I want to I, I want to celebrate the 25 years of Cirque, but also I want to do something that was meaningful. And uh, 
And this is what I triggered my interest of starting a second foundation because we already had a foundation, which is Sick du Monde, a Sick du Soleil foundation that helped kids in the streets around the world. But I want to do something that was uh, uh, another commitment for 25 years for Sick and myself. And then I was sitting down with some um, friends of mine over a lunch and uh, somebody else helped me to choose a sector of water because I was reflecting which cause would I could engage in. I don't remember exactly what happened, but all the conversation uh, about potential foundation or cause to, 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 to in, get involved in was water. And then suddenly it was about, wow, uh, because at that moment he told me, oh, yeah, I remember exactly. When he told me one person every 20 seconds is dying of not having access to water in the world, that shocked me, first of all. It's the biggest cause of death in the world. And... But as a creator, I just didn't want to be driven by uh, sadness. But also, I believe, and I was trying to see how could we inspire ourselves and inspire people with. So for me, I took on also the symbolic of water, which is a, a source of life. So basically, on one time, on one side, you have the inspiration of water being source of life that could give me a lot of creative drive toward the foundation, and obviously the the, the fact of of the the. The biggest cause of that, water, the education is related to water, the situation of women in the world, uh, 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 disease, uh, malaria, all name it, water is as a, so you clear the problem of water, you have a good chance to clear the many other problems problem that this world is there. So for me, uh, it was an engagement, a 25 years engagement through my family office foundation. Uh, it involved a lot of friends, it will involve a lot of my kids. And, and water is, is, in my opinion, the most critical uh, subject to address in the context of global warming uh, in terms of distribution. Uh, we need to be very careful because there is an impact of global warming that will affect the capacity of major region and major city in the world and countries to have access to clean water. And that could disrupt in a major way the balance of this planet of the world in terms of, of geopolitical situation. So for me, water is a no brainer. It is at the, at the priority uh, of, uh, to address in order to have a better world in front of us and organize ourselves. Water was not even at the international agenda between government. So you're talking not even more than 13 years. And here we are 13 years after and, and and people suddenly realize that water is very, very important. So listen, the, the, this option is to raise money, but it's always also about raising awareness. And, and I just want to say thank you to all the people that collaborate, whatever it is, the staff at One Drop, the people at Adema Piguet, the people at Philips. This, is, uh, this event has been possible because of this coming together uh, among all those people. And there's a lot of individuals behind it. I don't know them all personally, but I want to say thank you. And for the people who will follow the auction or buy the war, watch, I just want to say thank you, thank you. And please, push the price. Go for it, because every penny uh, will save life. And, 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 and this is what you have to know. It's beautiful watches to collect, but also behind this collection, this, this buy, you could feel very good about what the money of this buy or the... the, of the the buy that we'll do will, will, will be accomplishing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Guy. Thank you so much, Francois. Bye, thank you. Ciao. Bye. With that, uh, I really uh, enjoyed this conversation and thanks to everyone who's watching for your attention. We look forward to welcoming you for our auction, Racing Pulse, on December 12th. And Please do participate in time counts. Every bid helps. Every bid matters. Uh, thank you again.